An Israeli restaurant owner in Philadelphia was harassed by a large pro-Palestinian protester group gathered outside the Sunday night store and accusing him of genocide. Hundreds of protesters walked through Philadelphia, and some demonstrators suppressed Goldie, a falafel shop of the chef Michael Solomonov. His actions were caught in video and shared by the governor of state and asked other authorities for criticism. Goldie. Goldie cannot hide. We get fee from you with genocide. Protesters can be heard shouting in the video. As the renewed military campaign increased, Israel hit 200 Hamas terror target in Gaza according to city officials. Other facilities, including TD Bank and Starbucks, were also destroyed. Penn Police. Penn Police. Approaching our walk campus and continued to watch area with Philadelphia police until end of. Protest is approaching our March campus and protest continued to watch area. The Penn police will document multiple graffiti examples along the march route and investigate to define responsible people. U Blackburn. UN agency employees were called for an investigation into the claim. Both companies were attached to the war between Israel and Hamas in Gaza. TD Bank donated to humanitarian aid efforts in the Middle East Starbucks said that he had previously darkened a Palestinian Post's brand and broke the reaction from the Palestinian fans. Neither Starbucks nor former president, president and CEO of the company, Howard Schultz, does not provide any financial support to the Israeli government and or Israeli army. The Pennsylvania government condemned the Josh Shapiro protesters. We have seen an open act of anti-Semitism. Not a peaceful protest. Not a peaceful protest in Philly tonight. The governor said he had communicated with Solomonov and his team in Goldie to express his support. As Governor Shapiro underlines the policy, it is anti-Semitic and completely unfair to target restaurants that serve Israeli dishes due to disputes with policy underlining. This behavior reveals a ruthless and meaningless pair standard with an anti-Semitism's call card. Philadelphia saw similar protests during war Israel Hamas and operated by Hamas. Gaza Ministry Health said more than 500 people were killed after an explosion at Baptist Hospital. Baptist Hospital. After saying Israel result airstrike. Biden administration later rejected this claim and referred to intelligence shows explosion was. Result a rocket misleading from Gaza.